After collecting just one point from their last three games, AFC Liverpool were looking to return to winning ways against Congleton Town, and the hosts found themselves at the wrong end of the table, despite pre-season predictions of a title challenge. Neither side really set the first half alight, and the watching crowd had to wait 20 minutes before either keeper was called into action, when Martin Pearson saved Steve Jones's shot from outside the box, and though Ronnie Morgan followed up, the offside flag was correctly raised to prevent the striker from giving the Reds the lead. Congleton Town's first chance fell to Jamie Turner after a good run from Jack Graham attacked the heart of the Reds' defence, but the number nine fired his shot into the side netting. Stephen Williams' floated free kick was just beyond the reach of River Humphreys. While at the other end, with the half-time break in sight, Dean Pye's vital touch prevented Lee Healy's deflected free kick from sneaking inside the post. The excitement really didn't increase after the break either, until the final 10 minutes. Prior to that though, Paul Brown's half volley was the Reds' best effort. Down at the other end, after he had wrestled Michael Gervin to the ground in an effort worthy of the Olympics, Jack Graham fired wide. While from a Lee Healy corner, Scott Sefton was disappointed not to get his header on target. With 10 minutes to go, Janusz Kurciowa came on and he could have made an instant impact when Steve Jones's cross reached him at the back post, but the Romanian blasted over. The substitute's introduction and a slight change in formation stretched the game in the remaining minutes, and AFC Liverpool created one or two chances that could have given them the points. Ryan Cox scooped one effort a couple of yards over the bar after a good run from Danny Romania. And then the Romanian set up another chance for Ryan Cox, who could consider himself unfortunate when his effort from the edge of the box beat Martin Pearson in the town goal, but struck the woodwork. Steve Jones had a late chance to snatch all three points for AFC Liverpool, but after a step over created the shooting opportunity, his close range effort was well parried by Martin Pearson. As the game drifted into the final minute of injury time, the home side themselves almost snatched a late, late winner when Daniel Bruce's shot forced Dean Pye into a good save to prevent the ball from sneaking inside the top corner. However, Pye's good save wasn't quite the end as the officials had their part to play in a controversial finish. With surely what would be the last chance at goal, the linesman saw that the ball wasn't correctly placed inside the corner arc, and so the referee ordered the corner to be retaken. With Reds manager Paul Moore pointing out that the ball still wasn't inside the arc on the second attempt, and being ignored by the officials, Scott Sefton rose to meet Lee Healy's corner to take all three points for the home side with the very last touch of the game. Uh, kick of the game sees him scores a goal but it's a controversial one on from your opinion well, it's not just my opinion Paul it's everyone that's seen what happened I mean I, here I am I want to talk about how well my lads have played how well they've battled at, at, you know at a difficult place and then we get an assistant referee if that's what they're called the word assist I'll use the word again assist referee he stopped him taking one corner because he said it's out of the day because we cleared it he decides to put his flag up and says it wasn't in the D. Take it again. The lad not only takes it again, but the ball's not in the D again. 
He allows them to take it, and yet they've scored. And I've just said to the lads at the end of the day, we still have to deal with the cross, whatever. But we, we had a league meeting the other week about officials. An official has cost us a point. Not Cognitton have took points. An official has cost us a point. And if that's wrong of me to say, I'm sorry, because at the end of the day, I can't expect players, whether it's Congleton, my players, Bootle, whoever it may be, to come and perform and then you get a, a, a linesman's decision out blatant because I'm five yards from him telling him that the ball's not on the D and he took, no, he, he took a blind bit of notice and allowed it to happen. So Congleton haven't beat me. The official have, i.e. the assistant. But apart from that, you know, I, I was pleased with my lads. Work ethic, we played well at times. We could have, you know, kept the ball a little bit better. We were unlucky not to score one or two goals. You know, but again, we're talking about officials. <clears throat> um, worrying for you that uh, you're not creating the chances like you were at the start of the season? Maybe, maybe so, Paul. I mean, you know, we we have players missing and things like that, but I'm not going to keep going on about it. But they're important players to me, you like to hear John Lawless and people like that. They are important, you know. I've had my, my goalkeeper not playing in Dean today, he's had a decent game. You know, when I've had the big players missing, you do miss them at any level. But I'm not going to criticise today, you know. I thought we made one or two decent chances today, you know. Again, we scored a goal today, I'd like to see it again, whether when the keeper's fumbled it and Ronnie Morgan's put it in it, whether it's offside or not, you know, I've accepted it. But I just couldn't believe when I'm asking a, a linesman to do his job and in a constructive manner. I wasn't screaming and shouting and all that palaver. But he's blatantly looked at me as if to say, well, just go away. It's in the day and it's full well not in the day. But, you know, because the chances, as you say, mate, yeah, probably we are struggling at the moment. Yeah, it wasn't too much happening until maybe the last 10 minutes when the game got a little bit stretched. Yeah, I've tried to change a few things, you know, put Stephen Jones back up front with young Ryan Cox uh, to try and stretch him. You know, I've had Paul, Paul Brown playing a little bit uh, bit wider, uh, trying to create. Um, you know, like I said, we've had one or two chances. Uh, and we possibly could have won the game in the end, but you know when <laughs> when you start talking and seeing uh, officials what they do. I'm sorry, mate. You know they've cost me. Well, he has the, uh, the assistant linesman, not the referee. Thought the referee done okay on the day, but the assistant linesman has cost me today. Just uh, one of those days you're gonna have to suck and see. Yeah, but people turn around and you can turn around and say like it levels itself out. I mean. We've had some some weird decisions against us this year, Paul, and that's not sour grapes, it's a fact. You know, when I want big decisions and things like that, you know, it, doesn't, it hasn't come yet. But, you know, it'll turn around. You know, it's not the end of the world, but what it is, it's, you know, I, I feel sorry for the lads because they've worked hard, Paul. They've worked really, really hard to get something out of that game today. And it's just been taken away from them by one, one really, really disgusting decision because it was disgusting. But, you know, we move on. And we just go to next week and, and see what see what we can get out of uh, ABA, I think. So we'll just see what happens. And we just keep plodding along. And when we have the, uh, the full-blown squad, we'll be all right. Use that uh, uh, what's gone against you today. Use it again for you next week in a positive manner. Well, I'd like to use it. as I, I, I'm always positive, Paul. And I make the players positive. But again, I, I'll go on about it. I can't compensate for what an official does to the lads. Because however much you put into the game, you end up despondent, you end up thinking, what, what, what's going on? Why are they doing these decisions? And, and I don't really know why, because it was so obviously blatantly outside the day. But we have to dust ourselves down, we have to pick the lads up again, because, you know, it's a, de it's a defeat. And like I said last week, Black and White tells me tomorrow we got beat 1-0 at Congleton, when it shouldn't have been. You know, we've let you know average side again to come and, 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 and beat us 1-0, but they haven't beat us, the official has. Well, hope you have a better luck next week. Well, I hope so, Paul, but, you know, again, you just ask people to be honest and do the right thing. And if they do be honest and do the right thing, like we've got to do on a football pitch, then we'll be all right. And all you're asking for is for them today to flag and to say, listen, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know what the ruling is, mate. I mean, it's out, so I don't know. I don't know, simple as, but we'll move on, mate. We'll move on. Just disappointed, very disappointed.